Minsan ba naitanong nyo, paano kaya nalalaman anong oras na matay ang isang tao? Sa video nito, ituturo ko sa inyo paano nalalaman o ano yung mga teknik, paano nalalaman anong oras na matay ang isang tao. Simulan natin. Kapag pumanaw ang isang tao, may tatlong stage ng decomposition ng katawan na nangyayari. Una, yung tinatawag na liver, liver mortis, Or in English, ito yung tinatawag na discoloration of death. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pagbabago ng kulay ng katawan. Pangalawang stage, yung tinatawag na algor mortis. In English, coldness of death. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pagbaba o pagbabago ng temperature ng katawan kapag namatay. Panguli, yung tinatawag na rigor mortis. Or in English, Stiffness of death. Ito yung pagtigas ng katawan. Okay. Sa video nito, ang gagawin natin, more on mathematical approach. So, puntaan natin yung pangalawang stage na yung algor mortis or coldness of death o yung pagbabago ng temperature ng katawan kapag pumanaw ang isang tao. Dito na ngayon papasok yung tinatawag na Newton's Law Newton's Law of Cooling. Sabi ni Newton, yung pagbabago daw ng temperature ng isang body ay directly proportional kung gaano kalaki yung difference ng temperature ng body sa temperature ng surrounding. Mathematically, pwede natin i-write as the rate of change ng temperature, so temperature capital T, differential, in terms of differential equation, rate of change ng temperature, rate, is ibig sabihin, with respect to time, sabi ni Newton, is directly proportional daw sa difference ng temperature ng body sa temperature ng temperature ng body T minus temperature ng surrounding. Ibig sabihin niyan, mas malaking difference ng temperature, mas mabilis mag bago yung temperature. Okay? So, meron ka ng proportionality. Okay, yung ginagawa natin sa mathematics para mawala yung proportionality, naglalagay tayo ngayon ng tinatawag na constant of proportionality. Okay. So, differential equation, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng tinatawag na differential equation, dt over small t differential time is equal to constant of proportionality k times the product times the difference ng temperature ng body minus temperature ng surrounding. Okay? From this differential equation, susubukan natin i-derive yung temperature ng body at any given time. Okay. Kaya lang, take note, considering cooling, meaning to say, mas mababa yung temperature ng surrounding or ng ambient temperature na tinatawag kesa sa temperature ng body. So, yun yung unang assumption natin. Kaya, cooling, lumalamig yung katawan hanggang ma-reach niya yung temperature ng surrounding. Kaya, kung cooling yan, maging, maglalagay tayo ngayon ng negative sign. So, mathematically, negative sign yung cooling. Okay? So, from this differential equation, take, as you can notice, yung form ng differential equation natin ay simply variable si parabol. Tama? Ibig sabihin, pwede kong ilipat doon yung variable ko. So, mangyayari dt, over lipat ko yung variable ko na to, variable natin capital T, temperature ng body, minus temperature ng surrounding, is equal to negative k, times lipat yung differential ng time. Okay? So, variable si parabol, pwede kong ilet, let u, equal to this variable, T, minus temperature ng surrounding. Okay? So, kunin ko yung derivative. So, du is equal to dt. Tama? So, meaning to say, isubstitute ko doon. Ang mangyayari, meron ka ng dt, which is equal to du, du over t minus ts, which is equal to u. Nilet natin, u is equal to negative k dt. So, meron ka ng simplified na equation. So, integrating, so, integrate du over u equals to integral of negative k dt. So, integral of du over u is simply equal to formula ln of u. Tama? So, ln of u is equal to negative k is constant. So, lipat ko negative k integral of dt, cancel yung dt, cancel yung differential. So, mangyayari, times t. Okay? Take note, pag nag-integrate ka, na meron ka laging arbitrary constant C. Okay, ibig sabihin, meron kang ln of u, which is t minus ts, 
is equal to negative kt plus c. Ito ay logarithmic form. So, pwede natin i-convert sa exponential form. Ang mangyayari, pag kinonvert natin sa exponential form, e raised to, nung nasa, nasa kabilang side ng equation, e, since logarit, uh, natural logarithm to, so mangyayari, e raised to negative kt plus c is equal to t minus ts. So, e minus ts. Okay? So, constant yon. Pwede kong i-rewrite yung nasa left-hand side as e raised to c times e raised to negative kt equal to t minus ts. So, law of exponents. So, pwede ko i-distribute yung exponents. So, mangyayari, e raised to c constant is still constant times e raised to k negative kt equal to t minus ts. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ang mangyayari, so meron na akong temperature t minus ts is equal to constant c times e raised to negative kt. Kaya lang, kung makapansin nyo, meron ka pang mga unknowns na constant c at k. Okay, ano mangyayari? Kailangan natin ng condition. So, considering, so pinakamadali, una, yung time zero. At time zero, ano yung temperature ng katawan? So, at time zero, syempre, ang temperature ng body, so, temperature T is equal to initial temperature T sub zero. Okay, o yung initial temperature ng katawan. So, pag sinabsidute nyo, mangyayari, so, T zero minus Ts is equal to C times E raised to negative K times zero. Any number raised to zero ay 1. So, ibig sabihin, TO minus TS is equal to constant C. Madaling sabi, yung equation natin ay T minus temperature ng surrounding, temperature ng body minus temperature ng surrounding is equal to C, constant natin, equal to temperature ng, initial temperature ng body, T sub zero, minus temperature ng surrounding times E, or Euler's number, raised to negative KT. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung working equation natin. Okay? So, ito na yung general solution no differential equation natin na Newton's Law of Cooling. Sa mga problem, sa board, halimbawa sa board exam, may mga problem na Newton's Law of Cooling application. So, ang napapansin nyo doon, ang laging binibigay doon, nagbibigay ng condition. Unang condition, syempre, at initial time, magbibigay siya ng temperature. Tama? Pangalawang condition, magbibigay pa siya ng at a certain time, na lumipas, magbibigay siya ng another temperature. Kaya pag sinabsidute nyo yun, dito sa equation mo, sa general equation mo, masasol mo ngayon yung value ng constant K. Okay? Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, yung form ng equation natin ay is simply exponential form. Parang ganito siya. Y is equal to E raised to X. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin gamitin yung calculator. So, tuturuan ko kayo ng calculator technique. So, alimbawa, itong gamit ko, Casio 991 ES Plus, So, punta kayo sa mode. So, pindutin nyo yung mode. Okay, ganito. Pagka pindut nyo ng mode, pindutin nyo yung number 3, statistics. Okay, kung makikita nyo sa statistics, lalabas yung iba't ibang klase ng equation. Okay, pindutin nyo yung number 5, which is yung exponential regression. Pag pindut nyo, lalabas yung table. Okay, ang kailangan mo lang dalawang points. So, so unang-una, yung initial condition sa time 0, so meron kang initial temperature ibibigay, so temperature mo, is equal to temperature initial or sub T sub 0. Then, another condition, so another time, say time equal to N, ano yung magiging temperature mo? Ibibigay din yan. So, alimbawa, temperature equal to T sub N. So, ganyan din yung mga problem solving sa board exam. So, may meron lagi bibigay na dalawang condition. Initial condition at another condition at certain time, bibigay yung temperature. Okay? Okay, balik tayo dun sa question natin. Ano nalalaman? Anong oras na matay yung isang tao? Okay, halimbawa, ay, ito na yung sagot ngayon. So, given yung, given yung condition na yan, boundary conditions, so, considering yung timeline, halimbawa, namatay yung isang tao dito, at a certain time t, so, then, natagpuan yung katawan ng tao, at certain time, say, time zero na lang, ang gagawin, kukunin yung temperature. So, at time kung saan siya natagpuan, so, halimbawa, nakuha ang temperature is 30, uh, say, 35 degrees, Celsius. So, paano malalaman anong oras na matay? So, ang gagawin, kukuha pa ng isang point, ang isa pang condition. So, at a certain time, halimbawa lumipas, time equal to 1 hour, ano yung magiging temperature? Halimbawa, yung naging temperature mo, 
equal to 32, ang nakuha ang temperature ng katawan is 32 degrees Celsius. So, sabi ko kanina, gamit yung Newton's law of cooling, ang kailangan mo lang dalawang condition. So, meron ka ng dalawang condition, at initial time, kung oras na tagpuan yung katawan is, halimbawa, 35 degrees, then at a certain time, halimbawa, lumipas 1 hour, kukunin ulit yung temperature, 32 degrees Celsius. Okay, ano? Paano malalaman ngayon? Anong oras na matay yung isang tao? Okay, ganito yon. Pabaliktad ang mangyayari. Alam natin, ang yung standard or average body temperature ng isang tao is 37 degrees Celsius. Or, ibig sabihin, meron ka nun ng dalawang condition, malalaman mo ngayon, ano yung time kung kailan yung temperature ng body is 37 degrees Celsius. Ma-approximate mo na ngayon kung ano yung oras na namatay yung isang tao. Okay? So, pag pinat nyo, parang sa kalikyo, pag nilagay nyo sa kalikyo, ang gagawin nyo, ganito. So, X, Y, lalabas yung table, mode, stat, number 3, then 5, exponential regression. Then, itype nyo yung dalawang condition mo, at time 0, so, ang mangyayari, at time 0, yung, take note, yung Y mo, must be delta T. Meaning to say, yung temperature ng body, minus temperature ng surrounding. So, ito yun eh. Tama? So, Y. So, big sabihin, temperature, So, initial condition mo, 35. Halimbawa, yung temperature ng surrounding mo is 30 degrees. So, halimbawa, P surrounding natin is 30 degrees Celsius. So, ang mangyayari, 35 minus 30 equals, then another point, punta ka sa X, type mo, then say 1 hour, then ano yung temperature mo? 32 minus 30. Then, AC, labas ka, pinutin nyo, shift 1, 3, pinutin nyo, Then, lalabas, ang mangyayari, ang gusto mong malaman ngayon, ano yung temper anong time na kung saan yung temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Ibig sabihin, ang gawin, kailangan mo lang gawin, is 37 minus 30. Okay, anong man value niyan? Kunin natin anong time. So, X number 4. X hat. Okay? So, yung lalabas, makukuha mo ngayon negative na oras. So, negative na oras, ibig sabihin, yun yung oras na lumipas mula nung natagpuan yung katawan hanggang sa oras kung kailan siya namatay. Okay? Ganun lang kadali. Okay. So, take note, itong ginawa natin is purely mathematical. So, marami tayong assumption. Unang, unang assumption, inassume natin na constant yung temperature ng surrounding or ambient temperature all throughout. So, hindi nagbabago. Pangalawa, constant yung heat transfer na nangyayari. So, constant yung pagbabago ng temperature ng katawan. Okay? So, another approach, yung tinatawag na Glaister Equation. So, Glaister Equation naman, so meron siyang constant. Okay? So, Glaister Equation. Okay, ano yung Glaister Equation? Okay, in niya na linear yung pagbabago ng temperature. So, linear yung relation. Ang constant niya, so time in hours ng pagbabago ng temperature is simply uh, 6 fifth times temperature ng standard temperature ng body say 37 degrees Celsius minus temperature ng oras na tagpuan yung body. So, pag makukuha, kung ano yung makukuha mo dyan, i-times mo lang ng 6 fifth, yun na ngayon yung time na lumipas kung anong oras na matay yung body. Ngayon, subukan natin experiment. Pero, hindi tayo gagamit ng patay. So, salit na patay, gamit tayo ng tubig. So, subukan natin, yung i-apply natin yung Newton's Law of Cooling to predict yung temperature ng water at given time. Okay? Simulan natin sa temperature ng surrounding, say, 30 degrees Celsius. Ngayon, simulan natin kunin yung initial temperature natin gamit tong thermometer. So, initial temperature natin is 40.8. So, At time zero, temperature si initial is 40.8 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, lagay ko dito. At time zero, initial temperature, change in temperature is 40.8 minus 30 degrees. Okay? So, start natin yung time. Ngayon, kunin natin at certain time, say, time 3 minutes. Ano yung magiging corresponding temperature? So, hintayin natin mag 3 minutes.
Okay, this time, kunin natin yung temperature at three, time equal to 3 minutes. So, at around 3 and a half minutes, so, gawin natin 3.5 based dito sa time, we have 39.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, para mas accurate, kuha pa tayo ng isang point. So, say, kuha tayo ng point, say, after 5 minutes. Okay, at 5 minutes, ano yung magiging temperature natin? Para mas accurate yung curve. So, at 3.5, we have 39.6 minus 30. Okay? So, for 5 minutes, so i-advance ko na ng mga ilang seconds dahil matagal mag-calibrate yung thermometer. So, kunin natin. So, at around 5 minutes, temperature natin ay nasa 39.2. So, 39 0.2 degrees Celsius. So at 5 minutes, 39.2 minus so 39.2 minus 30 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, hanapin natin ano yung magiging temperature at time equal to 10 minutes. Okay? Ngayon, habang hinihintay, subukan natin estimate gamit calculator. So, punta kayo sa mode, stat, then 5, then i-plot natin, i-insert natin itong mga points natin. 0, 40, 8, minus 30, 3.5 minutes, tsaka 5 minutes. Okay, 39.6, 39.6 minus 30, 39.2 minus 30. Labas, AC, then shift, 1, 5, then kailangan natin malaman Y, so 5. So, at 10 minutes, ano yung temperature? So, 7.8, yan ay delta T. Tama? So, delta T plus 30, yung temperature natin at 10, 10 minutes is approximately 37.8 degrees. Subuhan natin. Okay. So, kunin natin yung temperature at 10 minutes. Ano yung lalabas na temperature sa actual? Approximately, dapat ang lalabas na sa 37 degrees Celsius. At 10 minutes, ito yung nakuha natin. 37.8 degrees. So, temperature nito, 37.7 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, 37. So, malapit dun sa nakuha natin na 37.8. Okay? Okay?